Are you feeling hungry? Getting kind of thirsty? You know what to do now? Cause we all getting crazy. Masturbate. Oh, can you make it look so easy? Masturbate. Can you make it look so easy? Whoa. Welcome to Master Veg. Tonight I have a really great episode about making guacamole with your tortilla chips. Now, everyone loves tortilla chips. We all know that, and I do too, big time. So, what I want to do is just do a simple recipe about how to make some quick guacamole and get it done. One thing I should add uh, is that the whole reason I'm doing this is because I got these better chips. I got this load of better chips. There are these new chips out. Jalapenos. These chips are the best one the better chip makes. Insane. Real pieces of jalapeno, real onion, real corn flour masa. So, come into the cutting board and I'll show you what I got. I got two avocados split and the pits taken out, ready to get thrown in. I got about five cloves of garlic. Got about half an onion chopped semi finely. Got about half a bunch, maybe a quarter bunch of cilantro chopped extremely finely and washed carefully. Be careful, this stuff can be sandy. Alright? I got about a lime and a half uh, wedged, ready to be squeezed. And I have uh, about three Serrano chilies with their tops taken off, ready to be mashed up. Ah, and let us not forget uh, the tomato. And that will get thrown in a little bit later. I also have uh, a little bit of salt that I'm going to throw in there. And I always keep handy a little bit of my smoked chipotle powder. Uh, just gives it a little bit of that extra smoky flavor. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're going to put the ingredients in the mortar and pestle, the most important part. So, we're going to take our onion, throw it in there. Alright, get that in there. We're going to take our garlic, toss it in there. And we are going to take our chili peppers and toss them in there. Now, careful with these guys. Woo! It's hot! Alright. So that's what we're going to mash up first. Obviously because those are like the really the hardest parts. You really got to pulp them out. You got to make them nice and mushy so that you're not going to get some like big nasty chunks that are going to give you just like a big bomb of onion in your face, you know? So you really got to mash them up nice and fine. Now all right, everyone, I've been working hard for the past uh, five minutes or so, mashing up my onions, garlic, and uh, chilies. You see that there? It's like a nice, nice paste. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm going to put in my finely diced tomato into the pestle. Excellent. Okay. And I'm also going to put in some of my uh, cilantro. Not all of it, maybe just like a handful of it. And uh, kind of get that starting to get mashed up too. Right, before we put our avocados in. So I'm going to mash this up now and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've mashed up the tomato and the cilantro and now I'm going to throw in the avocado. Okay, so I got all the avocados in the mortar and pestle and with all the other ingredients I've already mashed up and I'm just gonna mash them up. That's how we do it. Okay, so I've mashed up all the avocados. All right, so now everything's mixed up and we're starting to look like guacamole here. So now we gotta hurry up and we gotta get this thing in the bowl so we can do a little mixy mix. So, follow me. 
take our mortar and pestle with our beautiful looking avocado mixture here. Mmm, looking good. So, dump that in our mixing bowl. Got it mashed up into a nice consistency here. Alright. Now what we do is we take our limes and we squeeze them on. Give it a nice coating of lime. Now don't get too crazy with it because you don't want to over lime it and it'll be just like too sour and no one will enjoy it. So just do about maybe like two or three wedges and stir that in, right? Now another thing that the lime does is it prevents the avocado from browning. Now what I also do is I'll stir in a little bit more cilantro uh, and I'll add some of my salt, right? And uh, I'll also put in some of my nice smoked chipotle powder. Woo, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It smells like a, a uh, desert campfire. So I put in a nice little dose of that, and I just stir it up. Okay, are you recording? Yeah. Alright, so... We've made the guacamole and we're ready to dip. So I just transferred all of my ingredients into a nice serving bowl, as you can see. And I'm just gonna rip open one of these bags of these better chips. Of course, the jalapeno is my fave. Let's just get a little dip action. Let's see what this is all about. Shazam! 